Want to begin? Some of you want to join us back here? Feel free. I'm tippy toeing actually. I'm standing on the edge of the. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are we excited? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. All right. It's a cold day, but it's a warm day in here. It is hot in here. It's because we got a candidate who's on fire. That's why. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the headquarters of Rafael Salamanca for City Council. Excited about the upcoming election, excited about what this candidate has to offer, and excited about the future of our community with someone like Rafael Salamanca and the New York City Council representing us with his intelligence, his dedication, his passion for the community, and the fact that he's already a proven leader who can give back and fight for the needs of the people of this council district. I am Assemblymember Marcos Crespo, and as Assemblyman and Chairman of the Bronx Democratic Party, I could not be more proud of, of this candidate, of this campaign, of where we are and what we're looking forward to. We have set a course to make sure that our support goes to those who are truly committed to the job, not individuals who just daydream of having a title or people who never show up except on election day to claim that they have something to give back. We want to support individuals who have already given back, who have proven what they're about and who have proven that they can get the job done. So the Bronx Democratic Party went through a process. We looked at the candidates and, the, and, and in the end it was clear that Rafael Salamanca was the right choice for this council. Joining me today, we have the Cowboy of the Bronx, State Senator Reverend Ruben Diaz. We have State Senator Marco Serrano. Assembly Member Luis Sepulveda. That's right. He's a little tired after that. <laughs> you know, we're joined by, and you can see the amount of people that we have here today, community leaders and advocates who are working hand in hand in this campaign. And I want to acknowledge a couple of, of those leaders as well, uh, representing many of the ministers here today. We have Reverend Eric Salgado. We have members of the Hispanic Clergy Organization. The National Latino Officers Association. Paloma Izquierdo. Majora Carter. I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna get in trouble. Everyone here is someone who is important and dedicated to this community. We can't thank you enough for your work in this campaign. But we're here to announce another another supporter. We're here to formally announce another one of those great leaders who are making it, making their commitment to this campaign and to this candidate. And this is someone who I have known now since I first got started in public service. He's been a friend and a mentor. It was, it was honestly looking at his dedication and his work ethic that really, really brought me into the mix, that really encouraged me to get more involved and to understand the importance of public service. I say that because I saw a young man who many said was too young for the job, who many said, well, you know, is he prepared for this? Who not only outgrew those expectations or that reputation, but demonstrated that he had a vision that was clear for his district, that took him now to the highest seat in the borough of the Bronx, and has set a course where, where the success that we're living in the borough has not been seen in many, many decades. Ladies and gentlemen, to announce his support for Rafael Salamanca, help me welcome our great visionary leader in the borough of the Bronx, the Bronx Borough President,
Thank you. Uh, I know you. I know you. <laughs> we know each other for a little bit. Uh, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Yeah. It's good to be here. Let's give a strong round of applause to our dynamic, energetic county chairman, Marcos Crespo. <laughs> I want to thank all of you for being here, supporting Salamanca. Amen. I want to thank those of you who have already been knocking on doors. I want to thank all of the elected officials, everybody who's been making telephone calls, my colleagues in government, Senator Serrano, Senator Diaz, the chairman, Assemblyman uh, Sepulveda, and so many others that have lent themselves, their reputation, and their name to this campaign. The, the, the fact is that this is an important campaign. Uh, many of you know me for so many years. This coming Monday, I will, will be my 20th anniversary of running for the New York State Assembly for the first time. Wow. Wow. 20 years. 20 years. People like Julia, people like Paloma, there are people like Joe, people like Michael Benjamin. There's so many folks in this room, Altagracia, who practically see me grow up in this neighborhood. I ran for office because we knew and we felt that we could get the job done to make this community look better and be a better place for people to live. 20 years ago, just this little hub right here, this very building was not here. This was all vacant lots. Across the street, it was all vacant lots. I believe that when you look at leadership, we really have to examine those who have a true record. And people who run for office always say that they have a record. But let's look at the record. Just since I've been the borough president alone in this 17th council Matic district, which by the way, I live in. So I thank you not only as the borough president, but I thank you as a resident of this building, of this district. In the last six years alone, we've seen an investment from my office alone of over $32 million. 2,500 new apartments and units in this, in this district. 2,500. We've seen over 40, nearly 50 schools get funding for computer labs. Yes. We've seen millions more for our parks like, like Joyce Kilmer Park and others. We've supported cultural institutions like Pregones Tira and others medical institutions like urban health so they can provide health care for the people of this area and beyond. Lincoln Hospital. And through it all, over the last couple of years, we've seen someone that time and time again has exhibited and displayed that leadership in Rafael Salamanca. Yes. Through it all, as a district manager, whenever we have a developer and the development that you see around, there. He's there with the community board making sure that it's built in the right way and that people in the area get those apartments. Amen. Yes. Yes. Through it all, whenever we're putting money into our public parks, as a district manager, he's been there with the leadership of the community board making sure that the community's interests, that their ideas, that their children's concerns, that everybody is part of those scope meetings. That's what we get with Rafael Salamanca. Yeah. Through it all, in this precinct, the 41st precinct, so many of you remember, this is Fort Apache, the Bronx. Right. Hollywood made a movie about us yeah. in 1980, but yeah. we are no longer that Fort Apache. Right. The 41st Precinct is one of the safest precincts yeah. in the Bronx. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. and that comes from the leadership that we get from Rafael Salamanca, yeah. the community board, and so many of the residents here. When you look at Hunts Point, undesirable establishments no longer exist, thanks to Rafael Salamanca. When, when people were increasing our crime statistics and robbing people and, and increasing their car insurance by using crime stats from Rikers Island, Rafael Salamanca worked with Assemblyman Marcos Crespo, with Sepulveda, with Senator Diaz, and the state senate to yes. get legislation right. done and make sure that the police commissioner says, you know what, we're no longer going to use the statistics yes. for yes. Rikers Island. Yes. So this is a, a proven record yes. of a young man who, like me, yes. was raised in this community. Yeah. A young man who, like me, got into this for all of the right reasons. Yeah. Yep. A young man who, like me, 
only wants the very best for his child to grow up and for all of our children. Amen. And so today, I'm not only the president, I also live in the district. <laughs> <laughs> and I will do everything that we can. We have less than two weeks. We need to continue to support him. I support him wholeheartedly. I know that he's going to represent us well. Thanks to the leadership of Marcos Crespo, we've seen more and more leaders coming out of the Bronx that all of us can be proud of, that the city is watching in a positive light. And so we urge all of the people of this district on February 23rd to join me and everybody in this room and let's elect the next city council member of the 17th Council District. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you all for coming on this cold day. Uh, I am really humbled to be here today. Um, and before I begin, I just want to thank the borough president uh, for, for your endorsement. Mr. Borough President, you know, you're the uh, Bronx executive, and you're continuously advocating for a better quality of life, improved transportation system and economic development, and much more. And uh, I, am, I am proud to call you a friend and, and my borough president. Thank you. Please give the borough president. So as many of you know, I've been door knocking. I've been door knocking every day, every evening. And on Monday, I had the privilege to go door knocking with our borough president. And I can tell you, he is a rock star. You know, no, listen, listen. He, so we went door knocking and there were at least three individual women when opened the doors, they were in tears because the borough president was there. We got invited to go have dinner. You know, it's, it's, it's an awesome experience. Thank you, thank you. You know, I, I also want to thank, you know, someone who's very special and, he, and is here with me today, my wife, Mr. Jacinia. And, 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 yes, yes, and I, and I also want to thank the, uh, the um, my, my assembly member, Marcos Crespo, the chair of the Bronx Democratic Party for believing in me. I want to thank I want to thank Senator Ruben Diaz Sr. Uh, for okay. believing in me. When I became a uh, district manager, uh, the senator was the first elected official that I met with, and then and from from day one he's opened his doors and he and he stood with the community on every issue, no matter how small how big they are. So Senator, thank you, thank you. I want to thank uh, Assemblymember Luis Sepúlveda, who's here with us today. Um, when I first started my campaign, Assemblyman Sepúlveda was the first elected official to go door knocking with me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, 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 I, and I want to also thank um, uh, Senator Marcos Crespo, who's here, also here with Marcos us today. Serrano. I'm sorry, listen, Marcos Serrano. I'm sorry. We get that a lot. Yeah, we get that a lot. Yeah, we just not um, me. We, you know, I, I also have individuals here who, who from, from the beginning of my career, have helped me start my career and have gotten me. I, I would not be here today if it were not for them. And I need to acknowledge Paloma Hernandez. Yeah. Dr. Skello, who's not with us today, and everyone from Urban Health Plan who's supporting us today. Thank you. <laughs> and, you know, I also need to acknowledge and thank uh, the community board, board members who are with us today. Uh, you know, you board members allowed me uh, to, to take the reins and move forward on issues that are affecting our community. And this is not something that I did. I could not have done this if it wasn't for you standing behind me, pushing me, saying, "We, this is what we need in our community. We want our fair share. So thank you, community board, too. Yeah. For yeah. And we also have here the Hunts Point Advisory Board. I need to acknowledge them because they've kept the fire on me in terms of issues in Hunts Point. So I, they're here behind me, and I want to thank you. Thank you for your support. resident of this community and now raising my family here. I have an invested interest in this community and I have an invested interest in ensuring that the future is bright for all the children uh, of our, and all the families in this community. As district manager of Bronx Community Board 2 and president of the Precinct Council, I've been fortunate to have gained the valuable experience serving our community and I am proud of what I have been able to accomplish. The shutting down of all five topless entertainment bars at Hunts Point. Yes. Yes. We fought and won the approval of the BS46 line from Longwood to Hunts Point yes. so that we have access to the green space. We assured the housing development uh, projects have mixed income and ensuring that members in our community have access to these apartments and they're not displaced. We've created over 300 jobs in, 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 in this Hunts Point and Longwood community. 
and we've done much more. And while I believe that we have, we have done, uh, we have done some great strides. There's still a lot of work to do. Right. It's going to take leaders who demonstrate a tireless, no-nonsense commitment to getting things done for this community. And that is exactly the type of council member I plan to be. On the council, I will work to create good-paying jobs for all of those across the community. I will fight for a $15 minimum wage to ensure that those who are able to fight can do so without living in poverty. I will work to ensure that the Bronx is provided with resources necessary to continue to improve our public transportation and our infrastructure. I will aim to find new ways to strengthen our police and community relations because we all benefit when we work together to build safe neighborhoods. And finally, I want to ensure that we take the necessary steps to keep our housing affordable, which means allocating resources to improve, to have improvements to our NYCHA development. So if one thing is for certain, it is that as your council member, I promise to be a strong voice every day. Yes. All right. I, I will always stand up against special interest groups at City Hall and fight to make sure that our community always gets its fair share. Ladies and gentlemen, I want, I, I'm once again very incredibly honored to receive the endorsement of the borough president and receive the endorsement of all my future colleagues. And I look forward to moving the Bronx forward. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you. Speak for yourself. <laughs> the dream team. Hey. Yeah. Bravo. 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 Bravo.